done like an instructional type of video in, in a while, so I, I came across something that I thought might be useful. It was helping me, and it might be useful uh, for some of you. Uh, it has to do with the uh, the strokes, and the, there's three levels. There's the full stroke, then there's the middle stroke, and then I call that the quarter stroke down there. Right? And uh, I started, I was watching these videos of these modern gospel drummers, and they're constantly using full strokes, but they're not super bashing barbarically on the drums. They're very controlled, and... Uh, they're definitely just spanking the drums uh, with a lot of dexterity too. So I thought, well, how are they doing that? Their, their strokes are amazing, you know, and uh, I like that. So I decided uh, to try to figure out a way to get uh, my full strokes happening. And uh, so if you see the pad, uh, I use a, a stool. I don't have a another snare uh, stand so I, I keep the pad on the stool and I was adjusting the seed height and I realized that if I kept the pad lower than where I was sitting that my hands would be forced to kind of do this motion since the pad is so far down that uh, it takes longer to get there and, and, and pulling the sticks back up and uh, what I realized was that um, if I was doing even the simple um, right-left singles, uh, as I'm doing it now, I can feel in my left hand, which is not my dominant hand, it's what they call the weaker hand a lot of times, and uh, I can definitely, even now, I can feel this tension up here, and that's from using the fingers and, and the wrist. And I realized, you know what, my left hand, I knew it was the less dominant hand. I knew that. I mean, we do everything with our right hand, right? You throw a ball, a baseball, you use your right hand, right? Somebody comes up to you to shake your hand, you put your right hand out all the time. Left hand has been, my left hand has been just like, I don't know, sleeping. So it's definitely not as strong as the right. The right, I can sit there and do that and, you know, pretty much all day. Not all day, but I wouldn't want to do this all day. It's boring. But I, you know what I mean. Now, if I do the same full stroke with the left hand, it looks like it's slicing a little bit, and that's because I don't have total control over it. But when it, what I want to do is develop the control in my left hand so that um, it's almost as strong as the right. I don't know if I'll ever get there. But uh, I can now, right now, I'm starting to feel a little, a little tension and tense. And that's only after, that was less than a minute. So I still have a long way to go. And uh, so this worked for me with the, uh, with the full stroke. And a lot of times when we practice or even rehearse sometimes, we're using that middle stroke, which is right about there, right? I know when I'm practicing, I don't need to uh, really blow it up because my neighbors are, may complain. And, and uh, I still get to do the workout at the mid-level, mid which is right there. And uh, my left hand on the mid-level is not too bad. And that's because I'm not extending anything. I'm not really extending. Uh, and of course, the... Th the quarter height level, which is down here, what I do to get that, that takes more, when you're down there working like if you watch Antonio Sanchez play, he's, when he plays down there, man, it's, it's incredible. He's, he's an amazing, amazing drummer. Um, that's more of the fingers being used. So what I do, since I don't have a adjustable height on the pad is I have to switch stools because this is the lowest that this stool is going to go. So I have to move that and I bring in this much lower stool. Now what this now what this height does for me is now my hands are kind of my hands are now at the equal level as, as the pad is, right? 
So this I find I can still get the full stroke. I'm not getting a whole full stroke. But that's pretty much, you know, that's a full stroke. Mid stroke, mid stroke I can get. Now, playing the quarter stroke, I find it for me personally being down at this level with my hands. Uh, what's the word? Is it adjacent or leveled with the pad? I can sit and work my fingers easier than if I'm, like, say, up here. I can see the sticks are already going on an angle downwards, which I, I don't really want for those quarter strokes. So right there, uh, the wrist is involved a little bit, but it's more of the fingers doing the work. So my fingers are definitely pumping and, and pushing pushing the stick up, up and pushing it down and letting it bounce up. Uh, the thing to do now at both of those levels, or all three levels, but I think we're focusing more on, on the quarter stroke and the full stroke, is to do your, uh, do your um, rudiments, right? Power diddle. Right, that's mainly just fingers. Singles. And then uh, open roll, no double strokes, now this is boring stuff, to sit here and do this is boring, I get it, but the excitement comes in, I want to switch to the uh, other stool, so I, I just wanted to show you that. <coughs> that work out. See, this is different now. The sticks are coming down more. I like this. I like doing this because it gives a... It really... This will work. Having the pad lower like this will work your weaker or less dominant uh, hand and forearm because that's where you're going to feel it here. And I've been seeing results playing... Um, when I practice, but more when um, when I'm with the band and the band is is kind of turned turned up, and I need to apply a little bit more volume, I'll use the bigger stroke. But and uh, rudiments. When I do the uh, power diddle, I'm slicing with my left because my left is my right is fine comfortable. My left hand, I can feel it. It's like asking for some help. Double, power diddle, single. Joe Morello. And he would say, get them, get those strokes to almost sound the same. You know, they're, they're different strokes, so the articulation is different, but... I'm not bashing. And uh, I think this is a great exercise to develop control. You need control in order to get your ideas out. Ideas start in your mind. They're amplified by the heart, and then they come out in the hands. So we do these things like the rudiments and these other utilities so that when it comes time to express yourself, whether you're recording or uh, practicing or rehearsing with your band, that you're able to articulate. You want to be able to get your ideas across, which is why we spend time, you know, on a practice pad like this. It's it's boring when you're doing it, but it pays the dividends. It's like investing in a, a stock or something, and then the stock goes up and you make money six months later, you know? So I'm still working on this and developing my left hand, so I'm asking you, if you could, just try it. If it works for you, then great. We'll take this journey together, and we'll get better together, okay?
All right, I hope this was helpful, and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.